I want to show people what goes wrong when dogs are on utes the way nearly everyone restrains them. I see this at my work and it's devastating. I can't do it with a real dog because that would be a welfare problem. So I'm going to do it with myself because I can do this without hurting myself. So let's have a go. So here's how people normally restrain their dogs on a ute. So they've got this long lead. It's not normally quite this long and they attach it to the collar of the dog, right? And the dog's up here. What they do is they have it so that the dog can look out the side. Because, I mean, everyone loves their dogs having the fresh, fresh air and they want to, you know, get the wind in their face and it's nice. So the dogs are riding along like this, right? Looking over the thing here and that's all very fun. It's great, right? Typical you. What happens next? Dog sees another dog over there. Ute goes around a corner fast. You never really know. But the next thing that happens, dog's looking out here and he's having a good time and the bum goes over. Now, if I was a real dog, at that point the ute's flying along at 100 k's an hour and I'm dragging along the side of the ute, they don't survive that very often and it's a terrible way to go. Now I want to show you how to do it properly. So now I've got the right sort of restraint for dogs on utes. This is something you buy made for purpose. It's got two buckles at each end. It clicks one onto a special attachment you put in the center of the back of your ute and the other goes on the collar of the dog. And the idea is when the dog is sitting on the ute and you go around that corner and this attaches and pulls him around, his bum doesn't go off. He's still on the ute no matter what. It's got to be that short. I know you'll feel really mean doing this. Your dog can't look out. But it's make him safe, it's the only way to do it. Now I'm out of that suit, there's a couple more things I've got to say. The first is, I put the side down so I wouldn't hurt myself. It doesn't make any difference if the side is up. The bum will still come over the side if you go around a corner or the dog wants to jump off with the side up. So it does not make a difference. Second thing, it's really important, it's got to be said how hot these trays get in summer. That's pretty obvious, but you still see dogs going around on these things in summer and they should be in the cab or somewhere else.